you? Hey, Dr. Ozzy, good to see you. Yeah, good to be seen. How are you? I'm good. Good to see Thanks. you. Yeah, how are you feeling today? Um, my back feels a little locked up. Um, my right sh left shoulder is a little tight. I worked yeah. out today. Okay. And so, uh, you know, it doesn't hurt anything, but when I'm working out, it just sort of seems a little bit locked up. Not much, especially when I get into maximum reps. Okay. You know, it just, uh, this side doesn't hurt at all. This side just feels like really tight. Okay. And then I've done a lot of stretching and, you know, ab exercises and stuff, but my, I just can't seem to get my lower back uh, so it feels enough. real strong. Yeah. Okay. Sort of locked up. Okay. Now, shoulder, were you doing a lot of bench press or? or? Uh, well, I did, um, I did uh, individual Biceps. curls. Okay. Um, reverse curls. Okay. Um, tricep presses and okay. military presses and then I did these. So I do like uh, a lot of sets of yeah, sets of like uh, 50 or 60. Okay. And I do like start off with 10, 10 pounds, I go up to 15 and then I go back down to 10. Okay. And I do uh, pull downs okay. and I do pull downs like this, pull downs like that. And then I do the row this way, the row this way. And then I do push downs like this and I flip around and do that. And then I do two sets of bench presses on the machine. And then once I get done with that, then I go ahead and do uh, laying down on a bench, uh, dumbbell bent, um, presses this way, okay. and then this way, and then I move the back up, and then I do uh, elevated uh, bench presses this way and this way. Okay. And so I'm using like 20 pounds. Okay. And, and then it, that's not all like like your is that one one workout one day? Oh yeah, so I do it all. I work out like every third day. Okay. So I do okay. everything, and I do lower body too. Okay. Which all is right. lower body squats. Okay. Um, all right, let's go face up. Face up. Yeah, okay. Let's check it out. Good. Good. So typically we'll go through when I see you. Yeah. It's always going to be initial. We'll go through um, if we see that we're switched or we're stressing. We can think our le right side of our body is our left, and left side is our right. We kind of try and get rid of that. So when we're muscle testing, we get right information. Okay. Um, and then the second thing is, we'll typically people come in. They're, they're, hey, I worked out, and you know, I'm wired, and whatever, I'm running around all day. They're, they're sympathetic dominant. They kind of get fired up. So when we go to look at stuff, a lot of times things look good, but they only look good because our adrenaline and everything's overriding it. So we kind of use some acupressure and some chiropractic to, to do some things to invoke the parasympathetic or the brakes of the nervous system to calm things down. And then when we go look at you, if something's there, we typically see it, right? We wow. don't kind of get faked out and get some false negatives. Yeah, because I right? finished working out about 10. Okay, okay, yeah, so we could have a little bit of that. That's typical, right? That people, again, there's life in general gets them going. All right, so acupressure time. Um, push back for me. Yeah, so your body's got kind of like a, you know, under Chinese medicine, they talk about a two hour window for every uh, organ, All right? Keep this here. Um, push back. So um, we'll check out, it's a basically an hourly clock, right? So yeah. we'll go in and push back and we'll see if that's working. Bring the, keep that there, bring this down. Yeah, and so it's not, so we can do some general chiropractic while you're on the acupressure spot. So acupuncture, a bit of a misnomer, but you know, the purists will say, no, no, you got to do acupuncture um, and puncture somebody. We'll talk about acupressure and I find it works and it works pretty well. Um, and we don't have to puncture anybody. So that's always kind of nice. And uh, so we'll work on just stimulating nervous system through motion, right? So again, you can chiropractic adjust and we'll hear some popping and all that, but some people don't need that, so we can still work on them. So well, my neck is a lot better. Yeah. It's, it's hardly any pain at all. Awesome. So that's really a and plus my allergies seem better too. Nice. Push back. Alright. That's what we want to hear. Right? Okay. Yeah, so that's better. Cool. Yeah, yeah. That's a big one, the allergies, right? Yeah, like, well, okay. the allergies I'm just getting back from playing tennis. Yeah, yeah. Pull across. Which typically, yeah, you're going to be outside, yeah. right? So bring this down. Yeah, teeth together, pull in. Okay. So we're just generally taking out, checking out some muscles. Bend for me. Teeth together, push back. Yeah. Relax just a little bit. Relax, 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 relax. Bring this back. Give, give it to me. Yeah. There you go. And push back for me. Okay. A little bit of range of motion is kind of not where I want. Relax that. I go this way, well. And you're going to keep this arm up. up. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go this way. Push me. Push up. Okay, and then push back for me. Yeah, backwards. Yeah, there you go. And then this one here. I'm gonna go this way. Push up. Okay, good. Bring it in. Relax a little bit. Yeah, relax, relax, relax. There you go. I'm gonna go this way. Push out for me. Okay. And then uh, this one. Lock it. Teeth together. Push out. All right. That's good. 
Oh, this muscle's not too bad actually in the shoulder. So a little tight. The only thing I notice is no straight. When we're doing the deltoid there, yeah. pull across, um, seems a little, a little tight. All right. Yeah, that seems about the only place that it is. You know, it's not like right away. Mm -hmm. When I'm doing stretching too, it just it's not as loose as my right shoulder when I do stretching before I start working out. Okay. All right. So come back in here. Do me a favor. Just rub in circles. Tender at all? Yep. Yep. Okay. Rub it. This is man. Let's keep going. You're on your own. And you pay me to torture you. Uh, that's how we roll, right? Training me to do it myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> Yeah. Sadomasochism masochism yeah. chiropractic. <laughs> Come in and I'll teach you how to punish yourself for being bad. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so there's an extra pressure spot. We'll also talk about neural lymphatics. And they just get inflamed. A lot of things will get inflamed, especially when we also train in that area. And when we rub them, um, the trigger points will work themselves out. And then again, if there is some lymphatic uh, drainage issues, they tend to get stimulated that way. They call them Chapman reflexes. They were actually discovered in, I think, about the 30s or 40s. Um, by a Dr. Chapman and an osteopath, um, and so we utilize them, and they seem to help out. Getting a little bit better? Yeah, it's not as painful. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, that that's good. Bring this up. Okay, both arms up for me. Now turn this out. Push in. Okay, close the right eye. Push in. Close the left eye. Both eyes look to the right. Look left. Chin. Chin. Yeah, look at your chin. Spring. Push. Look at your right shoulder. Left shoulder, top right hand corner, top left hand corner, good. Forehead, push. Okay, both eyes closed. Look to the right. Nope, yeah, just the eyes. Yeah, push. Okay, look to the left, push. Look at your chin, push. Look at your right shoulder, push. Left shoulder, top right hand corner, top left. Hands down. Okay, so we're gonna adjust the neck this time. So we're gonna hear some, some noise on this one. So I want you, but you, I need you to keep your eyes closed and look right for me. Yeah, relax. There you go, perfect. Arms up. Bye, Edie. Okay, both eyes closed, look right. Awesome, look left. Chin, right shoulder, left shoulder, top right, top left, forehead, eyes open, close your right eye, left eye, both eyes right, left, chin, right shoulder, left shoulder, top right, top left. Okay, great sound. So when we're looking at that, so call it eyes and distortion. So eyes, when I open, I got my visual I can see, right? And I use my muscles as well for information to bring. Then we have eyes closed and all I'm really getting is some um, information from the muscles of the eyes and I'm not getting the visual stimulation. So things can change. We'll see soft eyes closed that we don't see eyes open. And it actually gives us information about the spinal uh, muscles because the eyes are actually hardwired into the intrinsic back muscles that keep your spine erect. So a lot of patients that we'll talk to them, hey, you're really fatiguing your eyes at work or looking at a computer all day long. And that's why you actually have back problems and back pain because you're fatiguing those when they're hardwired together. So when you fatigue one, you fatigue the other. Now you just have poor ergonomics and you just, you're waiting, you're, again, just waiting to kind of have a problem, right? Yeah. Um, so again, I'll tell patients, hey, give your eyes a break. Get off the computer, walk away, and look around at what God created, right? And see some stuff and not be doing this when you get off there. And give, again, rest your eyes a little bit. And that actually helps the back muscle. So when we do that, we see when we turn to the right, we kind of eyes closed and look right, muscles are inhibited. That tells us there's certain joints that we want to actually stimulate to help out, again, the muscles of the eye and actually help brain out, which is, again, gonna help things like a tight little back. So again, when we think about chiropractic, it really goes way past back pain and neck pain, and really it's just a way to stimulate your brain, and your brain runs everything, including your muscles, and your muscles move your bones. So everything also comes back to, to brain, right? And again, we just think of it as receptor-based therapy. So I can shine a pen light in your eyes, I can do this and have you smell something, it's all stimulating nervous system and nervous system tells body what to do. It's communication. So good communication, like in a marriage, between husband and wife, typically good marriage, bad communication, not so much. So we're just working on better communication between your brain and body and eyes are a great way to kind of do that. That makes sense. Yeah, it's nifty, right? Okay, so bring this down. Let's just check out the legs really quick and then we're gonna get into a gait work today. We're gonna okay. see what we're doing. Turn this weight out for me. 
push up for me. So we're not lying on the table all day long, right? Yeah. So we want to know what happens when we're standing. What happens when we're seated? What yeah. happens when we go through yeah. this out? Push up. Our daily activity, right? So we want to test in the things like if we were playing tennis. Well, how do we do things, right? Yeah. So yeah. we might want to test. So we have athletes which say, hey, you know, bring in some of athletes and they'll bring in their cleats. Yeah. And we'll put them on. What happens when you're in a throwing position? What happens when you're just standing there? Does that change things? in the feet, yeah. which actually changes everything else as yeah. far as your brain is concerned, right? So again, you're not playing maybe in your, you know, a football player in your tennis shoes, so let's check it out, right? See how you're doing. Anyways, yep. just kind of nip stuff. So let's go ahead and, um, and uh, you know, don't do this. Just, you know, as we taught, bend the knee. We're going to roll over completely on our side, yep, and then push yourself up to a seated position, okay. and then we're going to get gait going. Okay. Okay, so let's start with gait work. Okay. All right, so... Uh, we're working on gait work today, and so that basically just means how you're moving, how you're running, how you're walking, and we want to check it while you're standing up, and obviously we'll check it seated and different things that go on. We actually check stuff in the neck, stuff in the mid-back, stuff in the low back, and certain muscles should be on when you're, you know, all of should be on when we're standing at tension, but when we get into a gated actual position, certain muscles should turn off and certain muscles should stay on, and so we're looking for the muscles that should turn off. If they don't, it's not going to paralyze you. You're going to be able to walk, but your brain's got to think about it. You learn how to walk when you're one, so it just be automatic. So it's a lot of useless, stressful information when that's not right, that's not right, that's not right. So again, the brain's got to think about it. So we're going to be checking to make sure, is that working correctly? If we find that we're in a position that's not working right, we're going to get machines and we're going to try and find where can I stimulate the nervous system, what joints, to get the response I want. And then it's going to help kind of remap the nervous system, remap the muscle memory, so that now when I move, it actually starts to work correctly, which is a huge de-stressor for the brain. I would bet this helps my patients more than anything, whether they're an athlete, whether they're elderly, whether they're young, is what they do the most. They move and they run, especially kids. So they may not have like a completely off gate, like a Parkinson gate or something like that. They can just be off in subtle things. You see if a person has a hand turn in or hand turn out or their pigeon toed or their way out. And that changes the information going to the nervous system. So we want to fix that. So we'll test for it. So okay. let's look down. Tuck your chin to your chest. Tuck to look away. Keep the eyes open. Don't let me push, resist. Push back. Good. Right ear and shoulder together. Hold hard for me. Don't let me pull apart. Okay. So now we're going to step with the right foot forward. Left hand goes forward. Right hand goes backwards. And we're going to relax this a little bit. Down, yeah. Tuck your chin to your chest again. Turn to the right, yeah. And then resist, don't let me push. And that's not what we want. Okay, take a finger and hands here for me. And resist. Okay, same hand in front of the face, put it over here. Yeah, and resist. Yeah, turn and resist. And kind of notice that's harder for you to hold, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, to go back to neutral. Go back, relax, keep this here. Yep, yeah, there like that. Okay, and just stay like that. Head up. Better posture. Okay, stay there. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Okay. okay. So when we stimulate, so what are we doing? We're touching the right side. That's information, right? Yep. There's tactile touch when you touch it. Right? Hey, uh, hands on my, my skin. It's on here. Doesn't do anything. But I come over here, hand on the left side, which affects left right brain, right. right? Left side. Brain says, yeah, let go, right? You're, you're supposed to let go. So now I know I want to keep you in this position and stimulate this joint. So leaning more on the right foot like you're going somewhere. There you go, perfect. And then we kind of go in. And so now we want to try and create this. And this will take some time because you've probably been like this for maybe years. So it's going to take some time to kind of remap this. But what's the benefit is when you leave here and we have this happening, now you start to get, touch your chin your chest, look away, eyes open, push. Better, right shoulder right here. Nope, right the other way. What's that? Yeah, right ear, oh. shoulder. Oh. Yeah, and chin towards me. Eyes open. Hold hard. That's really good. Turn to face the opposite direction. Okay. Yeah, there you go. And then right there. So that was good. So again, when we looked at that trapezius, it should let go, and it does, because I'm, I'm when I'm moving, I'm doing. Yeah. I'm exaggerating, but you get the just. So certain muscles should turn on, and certain muscles should relax, so I can do that. Yeah. So we're checking that, okay. and it wasn't doing that with that one muscle yeah. before we stimulated. And it's not perfect. We want it to literally have nothing there. Yeah. And as you go and we start moving and walking around, 
Now instead of bad information coming in that's stressing out the nervous system, it actually has good information coming in, de-stresses, and the body can run better. Because there's only so much energy and ability to go around the body, so you want to be very um, efficient with the energy that you have to run things, right? And the biggest sucker of energy is poor motion and poor posture. And it's one of the easiest things to fix, right? So then my heart, my brain can say, hey, I need to run my heart better, liver better, uh, kidneys better, or you know what, my immune system better, so I'm less likely to get things like cancer. Because my brain, we've got the ability to fight that, right? And my brain says, hey, that's a cancer cell, go kill that, right? But if I'm stressing, because I'm not, you know, I've got all this going on, it can't do that, the focus on, and now it builds up so bad, okay, now I got full blown and I'm really in trouble, right? So proactive as opposed to reactive, right? Push back on my hand, left shoulder, left ear together. No, yeah, eyes open, full heart. Okay, left foot forward, right hand forward. Yeah, there you go. Tuck the chin to the chest, look away. Resist as we push. Yeah, left shoulder, left ear. Yeah, no, the other way. Yeah, whole heart. And this one works awesome, right? So that's exactly what we want, go back to neutral. So that was really good. Yeah, go back to as you were, uh, yeah, attention, right? So the one side, not so much. This side, great, and you do. You just wanna be completely like, because the brain says, I'm going, there's no need for me to hold back, right? Let go, let me do my thing. Okay, lock this in, pull in. And so when you talk about, hey, my shoulder's getting tight, right? Well, if every time I move and now I exercise, that's why I tell people, get in before you start an exercise program or you change it, because you might not be moving right, and if you're not moving right, guess what you're doing? You're creating more of an imbalance because now you're doing the same motion more the wrong way, yeah. and you just get really good at doing something bad, right? Yeah, right. right? Yeah. It's like when you're coaching tennis, yeah. right? If someone's doing it with poor technique and they just keep doing it with poor, what do they get? They get really good at doing it wrong, yeah, right? And true. so that's yeah. what we don't yeah. want. Okay, so lock this in, pull in, okay. So now we're gonna go right foot goes backwards, left hand goes backwards, right hand goes forward. Okay, relax just a little bit. Yeah, turn this in, heads up, teeth together and pull back into your side. Yeah, turn back in, pull, yeah, okay. So we had, um, we had uh, left sided, let's do this. Take this hand and go on here, left side, yeah. Turn this in and head up and pull in again. Okay, just for the heck of it, for you, take this hand, put it all the way over here. Pull on your side. Kind of notice that's nice and strong, right? Okay, go all the way over here, pull back. Kind of like it's a little kid, right? So again, so we know when we touch, it's just, again, receptor-based therapy. No, no, keep it here, and we're gonna kind of lean more. So we touch the left side, it helps. We touch the right side. So what do I wanna stimulate? The left side, because it gets what I want. So we're gonna talk about that in a second. So when you bring this right hand forward, right, the muscles that pull the right hand backwards should let go. They're not, they're like, no way. And so when you talk about tight shoulders and a tight back, right, yeah. well guess what? Every time you go to do right hand forward, your brain's not doing what it's supposed to be doing and it just goes and twerks everything up. So teeth together, pull in, and that's what we want. So go back to neutral. So when we're at attention, everything's good and strong. I'm testing this big old muscle back here. When we go with this muscle forward, this one brings it forward, this muscle brings it, relax, backwards. So when I go forwards, who should let go? This guy. He wasn't until we stimulated here. So now again, when I start to walk and move, this moves more freely, loosens all this up, right? And again, that can loosen up the neck, and yeah. if not, we're, we're tight, starting to tighten everything up. Okay. Turn and face the other way. There you go. So we always check one side and check the other side. I like to keep you balanced. That's nice. That's <laughs> what I need. <laughs> Pull in. All right. Left foot backwards. Yeah. Right hand goes backwards. Yeah. There we go. Relax just a little bit. And kind of lean it more. In. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. And then hand back to hip. And that's right, right away. And so we've been a couple times now where problems on one side, not so much on the other. Okay. Go back to neutral. Now this one's a tougher one. We can do it, I think, with the camera. So back against the wall for me, right? Typically my door is closed, right? So now we've looked at neck, mid back, and now we're gonna look at muscle in the, in the low back called okay. the piriformis. Yeah. So the piriformis attaches onto the front of your butt, way down in here, and when I go forward with my leg, 
my butt on that side wants to go backwards. Yeah. If that piriformis stays tight, right, brain's got to think about it and it just kind of pulls. Yeah. And so now we start to see it maybe pulling on one yeah. side or both incorrectly. The, the sacrum wants to go with them, the butt. So now everything torques up. So when people have low back pain, sciatica, and like that, almost always ladies who are pregnant, piriformis muscles involved, and the psoas muscle, the gold hip mm -hmm. flexor. Yeah. Almost always. So if you don't address those, back pain is probably coming back, um, or it's just never going away, even with sometimes with surgery. So piriformis and because muscles move bones. So we want to think about that and disc problems and low back problems. Okay. okay. So bring. You're gonna just kind of get comfy because you're gonna be like that. You're okay. gonna bring this leg up for me. All right. All right. Push in. Right hand forward. Push in. I uh, know this one back. Push in. Not so much, bring that down. Okay, so we had a, a lot of um, one-sided, uh, left-sided stuff. So let's just try this for the heck of it. Um, take this hand, we're gonna go a little bit lower, but on the right side. Yeah, right there. And then bring this up for me. And then, yeah, and put, yeah, you got, yeah, whoa, whoa, there you go. Good, that's okay. That's difficult, push in. Okay, take it down. And then let's try, um, bring this back here for a second. Like here, bring this up again. Bite down on the teeth. Push in. Okay, relax just a bit. Open wide. Yeah, open wide. Yeah, that's what it is. Break down. Okay, so uh, have a seat right here. For me. So a lot of times when we're talking, I'm gonna jump in front here. Um, jaw. So the jaw and neck have probably the biggest input in your brain. And there's so many people walking around with jaw problems. TMJ because they've just had a lot of dental work done. Um, you know, especially athletes, they've just been hit in the face a bunch, boxers, all that stuff, all the martial arts stuff. So their jaw creates a huge impact in the brain. And if it does, we swallow all the time. We're, we're chewing quite often, right? So all that stuff can be wrong input, wrong input, wrong input. So when we see with you, right, this changes what's going on down, it's all connected. It's just information, right? So we're gonna check out jaw and all the muscles that move the jaw. So we're gonna go here, hands down here like this. We're gonna lift this up for me. Bite down on your teeth. Open wide. Yeah, and right away. So again, opening muscles. So when we close, well, it's not bad. When we open, the muscles that open, bring this, and this is just a window in the brain. This muscle is just, we can check to any muscle. We're just using that to say, hey, when I open, close, and change, change the parameters of the test, what happens to my muscles? Okay, so okay. Now, fingers, just two thumbs here and here for me. Bring this up. Open wide. Okay, one at a time. Okay, flip flop. Okay, lucky you. Okay, stay there, don't go anywhere. All right, so we get to do some stuff inside the mouth. That means don't bite me, Ralph, because I don't like getting bit. <laughs> I'm not going after the internal territory. Yeah, 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 I am, you know it. That's exactly what I used to do. <laughs> yeah, so you TMJ, know. I yeah, work yeah. with the chiropractor. For yeah. For you, so, you know, okay. so you're the torture guy. See, it's all coming No, back. I didn't do that. Did, uh, I, I got rid of the pain yeah. and the adhesions. He did the adjustments inside. Okay, so, so we're just going to work. You can't really, yeah. you know, they talk about relaxing the muscle. You can just kind of massage it yeah. and it yeah. typically hurts a bit. Yeah. So we'll open up wide. Yeah, so yeah, you know, right? We've got some, some teeth work there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you're like, yeah, one more time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And everybody at home is yeah, loving that dance. one. <laughs> okay. yeah. it, it, it works. It works. It works. It works. It works. Yes, it works. Now, most of the time we'll talk about that, especially when we're learning. You're going to get one chance. Yeah. So you better get it the first time because oh, people aren't going to let you back in there, right? Oh, I know. Yeah. So, That's, it's hard. I feel like you, you got both sides. So, so okay. So we tortured one. We're going to keep it even and torture the other a little bit. Okay. So open when you're ready. <clears throat> All right. Okay. All right. Open wide. All right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this one's worse. <clears throat> that one's really bad on the left. And so we noticed that, right? Yep. When we talked about that, yep. we had it worse on one side than the other, and that one's pretty tight. Um, that's probably going to take some work for us. So hands down by sides again. So we just don't want to push on the table because we want to use this yep. muscle. Bring it up. Bite down again. Open wide. Yeah, good. Okay. 
So again, just censoring and putting the brain back in there for me. So now yeah. we go back and see how we made a change with, again, what's going on yeah, with the nervous that's system. That's a huge thing. You don't find many guys that can do the yeah. internal terror. Right. So I've had, we, took, it's a biggie. we did like 97 hopeless cases that we got from um, neurologists that yeah. had TMJ so bad, horrible pain, and we did I yeah. did the soft tissue stuff, and he did the adjustments and the jaw adjustments that worked with the dentist and yeah. resolved all right. but one. Awesome. Great stuff. Yeah, it's, nice. it's, a, it's a huge deal, right? Oh, it is huge. Yeah. Uh, right hand forward, left hand wall, and push in. Yeah, push in. Cool. Okay, back down. All right, bring this up. Push in. Okay. Oh, yeah, left hand. Plan. Yeah, left hand forward. Push in. Yeah, awesome. And so that's all. Now I'm just trying to think. Was it? You know, it's all kind of one-sided, right? Where we're just again tightening up. So we're finding a lot of st stuff on one side. So we had piriformis, we had SCMs, <clears throat> and we had lats. So when you start going, hey doc, I'm all torqued up. Well, yeah. Right? Makes sense. Every time I move, right? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, you're not going to do that. Typical chiropractor is not looking at that. Right? Yeah, Nobody's, that's the truth. Yeah. Right? They're yeah. looking, okay, what are you doing lying down? And adjusting and stimulating lying down is totally different than standing up and finding it is different. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, that was good. That was good. That was good. Last but not least, let's see if we can do this. Um, have a seat. Okay. Actually, right here for me, if we okay. can. We'll see if we can do this because I typically do it on the other side. So, left shoulder, left ear together for me. Hold hard, eyes open, hold hard, okay. Bend it forward at the waist for me, about 30 degrees, keep going. Yeah, left shoulder, left ear together, hold hard. That's actually good. Okay, I'm gonna try to step back behind this. Behind Take move over this way? No, no, just as you are. And then, here's where you can see if you trust me. Yeah, you can scooch over a bit if you want. Okay. There we go, mm -hmm. okay. And then, this is where you trust me, go back in my arms, I gotcha. Okay. And yeah, left shoulder, left ear together, eyes open, hold hard. Boom, that's it. That's actually good. So that's a lot to do with, again, some just more information to the nervous system. So again, what happens when I'm seated, right? What happens when I bend forward? What happens when I come back? My brain should be signaling, hey, you're, you're about to fall, right? Get ready. So I don't need, so I'm testing, what muscles don't I need to, to brace myself to make sure I don't fall? So when we go about 30 degrees forward, maybe 20, 30 degrees backwards, we'll start to invoke that information, hey, I'm going. So that muscle should, hey, I got nothing. That's normal. Mm -hmm. That's what we want to see. Oh, good. All right, so let's do one more thing. Let's go face back up for me. Okay. Land on your back. Okay. So that kind of concludes the gait work that we would do. Okay. And we're going to do some more stuff with the feet. Okay. That, again, is just kind of cruising into more of our protocol. Okay. But we'll do the gait stuff and the seated gate, um, probably like every time we see you, yeah. and that's when I'll know, okay, hey, hey, doc, I'm loosening up, I'm feeling better, yeah. but that's when I know, structurally speaking, you get to maintenance, because yeah. that's the biggest thing. So if we can get gate working correctly, most of the time, people start feeling really good. Yeah. Now, and it'll work out cranial bones, it'll work out TMJ, it works all those bugs out. Yeah. Now, if we still find, hey, doc, I've still got some jaw or, or, or head, you know, headaches or something like that, Okay, now maybe we have to manually yeah. go in and do the soft tissue work on the, the joints here or the cranials. So we're always hoping that we work it out through gait as opposed to, please, go ahead and dig on my mouth, right? No, yeah. no, as as everyone good. just saw. But it really works. But it really works. Push up. And the nice point is, right, push up, it has huge, far-reaching benefits. Yes, it does. And Indeed. we typically... You know, at least in one session, yeah. we don't have to grind on it, grind on it. Yeah, yeah. Once and let's move on, yeah. right? You know, and then again, hopefully we start seeing some improvements push up where we don't see. So what am I doing there, right? I'm just kind of gently hitting, right? So yeah. everything I do, I want to just use muscles as a window in the brain and go, what do you do all day? I walk, I sit, I bend, I twist. Well, we should test you that way. Because again, I can test a lot of stuff like this, and looks pretty good. But I get you actually doing stuff, well, it doesn't look so good. Yeah. Right? You'll see kids, hey, we're gonna test their gait, and they walk in, they know they're good. Yeah. I probably I said, hey, why don't you go pick up or throw that ball, or we'll hang out with that kid for a yeah. second. Yeah. And then you watch them in their environment, yeah. and now their gait's all goofy, and they're all over the place, because they're not paying attention, yeah. they're not yeah. thinking, oh, I gotta be perfect. So yeah. we want, again, observe and check out things in their normal, no, normal it's environment. It's a deal for athletes. Yeah. I worked with the San Diego Chargers and the soccer, San Diego Soccers. Yeah. And um, 
had chiropractors that could do that, but they, they weren't interested in that. And they're always having leg injuries. Yeah. Quad and hamstring injuries. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So yeah, so now you start looking for muscle imbalances and gait, and if you fix that, those typically go yeah. away and stay away. Yeah. And saves careers, right? There's so oh, many boy, guys not, pull in, truth. you know, we'll watch on TV and I'll yeah. say, I need to see that guy. Yeah. Because right? you see their career going downhill yeah. and it really doesn't have to. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So okay, that was good, that was good, that was good. Um, that's all good. Uh, do, 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 do. let's go face down for me. Okay. We'll get into again cold laser in a moment. So Bring this up for me. Push up. Okay, one hand right here for me. So again, just push up. We call this palm up. Therapy localizing. Push up. So take it away. Hamstring is just a window into your brain. Hand here. Push. Not so much. Take it away. All right, keep it here. Push up. Push up. Okay. Not a lot of moving around here. Probably. So again, you can, this is important, right? So a lot of people will get nervous about chiropractic and, you know, I can't go, I'm too old or, yeah, yeah. you know, I've got arthritis or yeah. osteoporosis or I've got cancer, yeah. you know, or whatnot. And there's so many things that we're, again, not having to jump on the spine. Yeah, yeah. It's just stimulating brain. So yeah. we use blocks now. Right? Instead yep. of trying to jump on you, if someone had osteoporosis or bad arthritis or even surgeries, you can use blocks to just stretch them. Yeah. Just stretch them all. And so now nervous system gets input and starts to go, oh, hey, I need to loosen some things up down here. Yeah. And we have some decrease in pain, increase in range of motion, and people start to feel a lot better. Right? So again, yeah. there's lots and lots of ways now to work and really stimulate as opposed to pushing a joint back into position. Right, so that's a slow stretch. Now we've got our like, cold laser on. FDA approved for you know neck pain, shoulder pain, and pretty much any major uh, football team, basketball team, hockey team, they're gonna have a cold laser on, on in the premises. Right, because it basically increases and speeds up healing time. It increases red blood cells, white blood cells uh, to an injured area, and it goes a couple inches into the tissue, gets taken systemically by connective tissue. Uh, matrix and again just helps with healing right we use it for a lot of things mainly to s stimulate nervous system but again it's it's uh, just helps I impact increase healing we'll also use it for muscle memory so we'll get people in a gated position and maybe work with the laser to again just lock that neurological pattern in better So I mean, if you uh, actually, the uh, Cancer Treatment Centers of America, they actually have chiropractors on staff, right? To because yeah, it helps with some of the pain yeah. that some of these these people are going through, yeah. right? Yeah. So you might not be adjusting, you know, in a particular place, but it really comes back to just stimulating brain through yeah. receptors, and so now you can kind of stimulate anywhere yeah. um, that's safe and have a positive impact and help them. With pain, and interestingly enough, uh, chiropractic adjustments, especially upper cervical, upper neck, yeah. increases immune system. And who needs a good immune system? Someone who's got cancer, right? Yeah. Like if you're gonna fight the fight, you might as well have everybody involved, right? Yeah. Good nutrition, yeah. good immune system, right? Yeah. Try and get your body to help you out, right? Yeah. So, anyways, just awesome, awesome stuff. Yeah, I try to again get away from the idea that you know that chiropractic is just for yeah. back pain or neck pain. No, it, it's really for for a healthy body. Yeah. When done correctly. Yeah. Right. So percussor doesn't really massage. Percusses into the body, yeah. stimulates muscle, stimulates a different part of the brain as well. So. What is that? Bring this up for me. Push up. All right, still pretty tight. Come on. Actually, what I want to do? Bring this up, and then point your foot down. 
Yeah, and push. Yeah, better. Bring this up, point the foot down, push up. So again, regular somebody who doesn't know what they're doing muscle testing, yeah. right? You may have someone come in here again, you got this up, yeah. well you recruit your calf. Yeah. So I just want to know what hamstring. Yeah. So we point this down, I don't get this and I just get that. Yeah. And so we got to be careful, bring it down, some people have some muscle testing and they really aren't doing it properly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so they don't to get the right information. Yeah. And so that last one, I tested this one, and I'm yeah. like, hey, that looks pretty good. And then I looked at your foot, and I'm like, oh, because you're recruiting yeah. this. So when we do a better test, you're like, ah, that's the response we're looking for. So bring this up, push up, better. Bring this up, push up, better. Okay, bring this here. Let's do hands again. Let's see what we got. Yep, push, take it away. Other hand here. Oh. Uh, yeah, there you go. Push, keep it there. Other hand here. Nope, both of them together. Yep, push, palms up, push, one up, one down, opposites, take it away, take it away, push, ah, Macarena. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. Put hand here, here. I always enjoy people when they're doing that. That's what it looks like, Macarena. Yeah. All right, push. Okay, relax a little bit. Turn the head all the way left, to the left. Yeah, eyes open, push, all the way to the right, push. Push, okay, back to neutral, and then relax that, down. Both hands behind your back, Ralph. Yep, make a fist. Yep, pull them together. Yep, lift the elbows up. Yep, resist, push. Awesome, back to neutral. Okay, good, 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 good. That's better. Doing good, my friend. I think we're we're getting it done. Doing good. It's just a joy to find somebody that actually knows what they're doing that can actually test the body rather than just do the same adjustments every time. Yeah. The old pop and pray. So true, right? Yeah, that's yeah. so true. Pop and pray. We, <laughs> with the AK or functional neurology, we'll talk about that all the time. Hey, yeah. hey. In chiropractic, it works well, yeah. right? But uh, if you can be more specific with it, it can work great. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so you know those little, a ten percent or twenty percent of people you know that just not getting it. Yeah. Right. And then we add into maybe thirty yeah. percent. You know we add into it the the blood work and yeah. the nutrition and you know I tell you, we're really on top of dotting the i's and crossing yeah. the t's of what why somebody could be having an issue. Sure. That's well, good to have somebody actually knows the whole perspective, all the different aspects of health. Yeah, what, I, that's why I kind of created my clinic. I thought, gosh, people are going all over the place, and yeah. that's a problem. You got a heart doctor, liver yeah. doctor, back yeah. doctor, kidney doctor, brain doctor, you know what I mean? And, and no one's talking, yeah. right? And the body is, the body's yeah. talking, right? And so we just got to listen and start figuring out ways to help the body, you know, heal itself, yeah. right? Yeah. And add things in. Um, and again, that's not to say that there might not be a time for surgery or medication, yeah. but. Yeah. That shouldn't, I don't think, be the first thing we yeah, jump to, yeah. right? And even if you had, you should still be looking at this. Like, how, yeah, you know, how did I yeah, get there? Yeah. And, and maybe doing both. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. When I worked with Dr. Stargowald on TMJ, we had a team of dentists that we worked with for the splints, and then we had an oral surgeon that did all the surgery. I did the soft tissue using the electroacoscope and myopulse, and Dr. Stargowald did all the adjustments and did a lot of... Uh, internal pterygoid work and uh, just uh, on the muscles inside the mouth. Okay, my friend, come on up. We did good. Let's see how we fared today. Okay. All done. Watch the blocks there coming down. Great. All right. Awesome visit. Sounds good. Thanks yeah. for uh, the internal pterygoid yeah. assessment. I haven't had one of those uh, yeah. in like 20 years. <laughs> yeah. I said to bring I it back. Listen. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, that comes right back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One thing you didn't want to remember. <laughs> well, right? you know, I know that it really helps. You know, yeah. It's a huge deal. Yeah. Just the cranial bones yeah. and the TMJ. And yeah. having worked for so many years on TMJ patients. Yeah. And, yeah. You, you know, know, the whole dynamics of the discs and mm -hmm. uh, just all the muscles and the trigeminal neuralgia. Yeah. And, yeah. I mean, it's huge. It's, it's a huge. big deal. Yeah. 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 So good. So great. Yeah. Thank you for doing that. Absolutely. Uh, We'll I'm see excited uh, about my next one on yeah. my pathway to being a top tennis player at yeah. 70.
Yep. Well, I'll look forward any, to it. I want, I want an autograph. Well, there probably aren't any seven-year-old uh, tennis players. It's okay. Right. <laughs> I'm number one out of number one, I'm baby. Dominate the class. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't worry. Out. I like that. That's how you pick them. Well, right? you pick your yeah. battles where you can. Does anybody do this? No. All right, I'll be number one. All right. Okay. Well, that's great. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, absolutely. That was awesome. Yeah. You betcha.